Hello everyone, welcome to the Chris Keen Show. Today we'll be talking about NCAA swimmer Riley Gaines. She is an outspoken critic of trans athletes and women's sports. She recently gave a speech at San Francisco State University, after which she was attacked, harassed, and barricaded in a room for three hours by a group of activists. Now this event took place over a month ago, which I know in internet years might as well be last century, but I feel like it speaks to where we are as a country right now, and it also speaks to why I started this show in the first place. So I wanted to talk about it. We're going to roll some footage from the aftermath of Riley's speech now. Here it is. <laughs> I think that was a very productive conversation. A lot was learned. Harassing and assaulting women, always the best way to make your point. Now on a serious note, no matter what your stance is on trans athletes and women's sports, there's no justification for this kind of behavior. But I think it speaks to a larger problem in America, which is that we don't know how to have conversations anymore. People scream at each other online and in person. They disown friends and family simply because they don't agree with one another. This is a complicated issue. Leah Thomas and trans athletes deserve to be treated with humanity and respect just like the rest of us, but so do women like Riley Gaines. Riley is a woman speaking her mind, talking about things that she thinks are unfair and that make her uncomfortable. The Ivy League, Leah Thomas's teammates actually, when they were concerned about the locker room situation and they sent an email to um, the Ivy League and the NCAA, their response was, here are some counseling resources you should seek if you, if you feel comfortable seeing male genitalia in your locker room. And then they were referred to the LGBTQ Education Center to educate themselves on the oppression that these athletes are dealing with. So no one within the NCAA is willing to acknowledge us, our feelings, our safety, our privacy. Um, I've really tried. I feel like it's really only happened like the past couple weeks where I like get emotional talking about like the locker room scene because it is just so wild that you can turn around and see a 6'4 biological man pull his pants down watching you undress and no one is willing to stick up for you. A woman feels uncomfortable with a penis in her locker room? You cry it! I remember a time when it was fair for a woman to say that this kind of thing makes her feel uncomfortable. I also think it's important to acknowledge the biological differences between someone who is physically born a man and someone who is physically born a woman. I think we can love and respect everyone without ignoring biological facts. Now, I don't have the answer for the trans athletes in women's sports debate. It's complicated and difficult. But what's important to me is that we're able to have that debate. You don't have to agree with Riley Gaines, but that doesn't mean you start attacking people. When did that become the norm in this country? That anytime someone says something that you disagree with, it's fair to treat them however you want. There's a lot of intolerance right now for differing opinions, and I think it's because politics has become a religion for people in this country. You're so convinced that you're morally right that it justifies any behavior that you do, no matter how reprehensible. We've fallen into a cult like mentality with our beliefs. We get violent, we harass people, we ostracize people, we cancel people. Where is the humanity in that and what is it accomplishing? Nothing. Do you want to live in a society where you're scared to talk about things, where you have to hide what you truly think, where you can't voice your opinion without fearing a backlash? What does that solve? Does that really help people? I think being honest and open with one another and understanding one another will help people. That's how we come to logical conclusions about these very complicated issues. That's why debate is so important. And that's why deplatforming, canceling, and attacking people is so toxic, unhealthy, and dangerous to a free 
free society. Now on the bright side, I should mention before all of this, Riley gave a speech that went very well. There were some trans activists in the room peacefully showing their dissent, and that's how this country should be. We should be able to listen to people we don't agree with and still treat each other like human beings. So I hope we can continue to have more reasonable debates. Thanks for listening. I'm Chris Keen, and I'll see you next time.